Hello, my darlings. This is the tarot reading for the next three months for July, August and September 2023. And this reading is for you if you have a soul gift, divine compassion. So let's see what tarot cards have in store for you for the next three months. There might be some sort of not very positive situation in your family life there might be some sort of argument some unhappiness some disagreements uh, something some dysfunction in the family life maybe even broken home maybe divorces or breakups the cards say that is a big possibility for that to happen for you in the next three months there also could be a lack of security and stability in the relationships and i see that you're focusing on this situation on this negative situation this negativity in the relationships and all you see how bad the relationship is how negative not the way you would like the situation to be at home and you keep focusing on that and maybe something you cannot forgive maybe something you cannot forget as well and i feel like you can't move on it's like this river of negative situations and it feels like you you feel stuck it feels like you feel everything is not okay it's not what you would like it to be but you you feel stuck and you feel like you can't change anything you feel like you can't do anything about the situation so you basically just focus on this negativity and you live day by day with this not knowing maybe how to change it not willing to change anything so i feel like it's a little bit stagnant energy and it's not very positive maybe it is now or will be in the next three months but don't forget that everything happens for a reason and anything that's negative in our life most of the time takes us where we meant to go sometimes something what we think was negative let's say a breakup a loss of a job loss of money always leads us to something better we find a new relationship we find a new job we find the ways to to make money uh, and sometimes when we focus too much on what is negative we cannot see the bigger picture we cannot move on we cannot step over that hurdle notice the signs the signs will show you if the situation is going to improve or not uh, if you see some sort of maybe maybe you decided to meditate and visualize that everything is fine the situation is changing that it will will be uh, it will be better if you see that something started changing that it is a sign that the situation will improve but sometimes we have to accept that situation is not gonna improve and we just have to take that leap of faith and just move on because there's always something better around the corner and you need to know your worth and just sit with yourself and ask your intuition if the situation, if the relationships if your current family life is giving you everything what you deserve are you feeling supported are you feeling loved are you putting us are they putting as much effort as you if they are changing together with you so ask yourself if they if other people are putting as much effort as you do in changing the situation the family life the the negative this the disagreements if they if they are trying to uh, change that into a something better but know your worth know what you deserve um know what you want um, don't forget to express your feelings in the relationship 
I also see that there could be some sort of hidden feelings from their side or your side as well this card of vanity talks about you know when we are in the relationship because of something let's say because of the status how others will perceive us or maybe we are in the relationship because of money because they support us or we support them and we would feel guilty if we broke the relationship or the reasons that are not for our highest good nor for their highest good either so ask so like i said sit with yourself in the meditation and ask if this relationship is for everyone involved highest good and if if you can see any signs of this changing for a better or maybe it is the time to move on or maybe this relationship is not giving you everything that you want that you deserve and maybe this relationship and maybe you've seen for a while that this relationship is not going where you would like it to go so maybe it is the time to take that leap of faith and change it or leave it or try to communicate with people who are involved and come to some sort of agreements don't worry if you decide to break the relationship if you decide to try to change the relationship dynamics if you if you're going to talk to them and try to express how you feel and tell them that they are not giving you everything that you want and you feel that you try you give everything to the relationship but you don't get back and if they are willing to um, participate in changing the situation then you'll you'll receive loads of love loads of understanding if that person decides to participate if you'll decide to break the relationship again the cupid will be with you and they can send you loads of love maybe from your friends maybe you'll get loads of support from your friends or maybe you'll meet someone new but the love love angels will be uh, around you in the next three months so don't worry either way it'll the, the way you'll decide to handle a situation, the family life, dysfunctional relationships, the, the love angels will be with you and they'll help you. Uh, I also see um, travel, maybe travel abroad, some foreign lands. Um, also, there could be forward planning. Maybe you'll decide to create a um, step-by-step action plan for the next year or next five years i can see that you're gonna start moving forward and planning forward planning them planning your life planning your actions some sort of uh, forward movement if in the past you felt stuck in the situation and if it felt that nothing is moving so don't worry the next three months things are gonna start moving things are gonna start improving sudden and unexpected luck is gonna come towards you and like i said possible travel going to visit places some new experiences joyful experiences and finally your hard work will start paying off so if you've been working on something uh, working on some projects and you saw no improvement no success so finally um it's like your car wheels are gonna start moving forward things are gonna start improving success you're gonna start seeing success finally and uh, and um, luck is gonna 
is going to finally uh, turn towards you and you'll start seeing some sort of movement you can you can then start planning ahead uh, moving forward in the in the next three months i also see that you will be in the um, energy of independence success especially financial success and stability abundance rewards all sorts of payouts for hard work collecting investments two hearts that represent a woman who is financially successful independent standing in her own power it's like she has achieved everything she wanted to achieve she is self-employed she is happy where she is she is on her um, in she is happy in her own solitude it doesn't if you are not a woman so um cards don't have a gender but i see the strong strong independent energy and the the wishes your wishes are going to come through as well i see this energy of happiness and dreams are coming through magical life good fortune and the universe are gonna finally reward you if you follow your passion you need to follow your passion and your passion is gonna draw towards you though the the wish fulfillment and you will be able to enjoy the the fruits of your labor you will be compensated for your creative talents and being the best at what you can do. So I see that your spirit guides are telling you that you need to practice your craft. You need to work on your craft in order to be able to enjoy the, the fruit of your labors in order to in order to be successful, in order to be independent as, as this woman, as this, this card, the energy of independence, being happy, be living luxurious life. So you have to be able to reach this energy. It is possible for you in the next three months. It is possible if you, um, if you focus all the free time that you have on being the best in your field, um, cultivating some sort of skills and b becoming an expert. Yes, it is possible in the next three months. The universe, your spirit guides are telling you that you can possibly, it is possible for you to become this, this energy. Um, but you also, but you cannot become this energy if you sit on the couch and watch TV all day long. So you have to take action. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. And when you pursue what your heart desires, what you've been dreaming about since maybe you were little or for the past few years, when you pursue that, then you can become the best you can be. And this is going to bring you amazing career opportunities and this hard work will be re rewarded. And... And I see a lot of expansion in the next three months. You're going to expand your horizons. You're going to expand your financial situation. Um, it, you're going to expand your friend circle, some sort of expansion. Maybe you'll learn something new. And if you want to get the quicker, the your spirit guide says that prayer will help you i feel that you have forgotten how to 
portray how to visualize i feel like you've not been spending enough time in the prayer you've not been spending enough time in visualization or practicing some any any manifesting techniques i feel like you need to go back into that this will help you to bring this abundant energy and your wishes to bring your wishes faster into your life so your spirit guide says that you see yourself visualize doing well in in the situation and have faith in positive outcome so it's very important to have faith which comes with a prayer when you pray and you have faith in it then it's so you will attract it so much quicker use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome so spirit guides are telling you that you are powerful you can change even the negative family situation unhappy relationships all you need to do is just focus on your heart's desires practice it as much as you can spend spend every minute of your spend every minute of the day that you have on cultivating your career doing something that you love and visualizing that it is possible for you that you are attracting all these good things for you and the universe the spirit guides will help you also spirit guides ask you to express yourself and awake, awaken your um, manifesting abilities through music and dance spirit guides advise you to spend more time in playing some sort of movement dance maybe and through music spirit guides advise you that at this time is very important music and dancing is very important uh, to you uh, i feel like positive music the music that uplifts you is going to help you in the next three months through maybe this um, negative uh, family situation um it i feel like you need some uh, positive uplifting music at this time in your life also just move your body a little bit sometimes when we sit all day long we forget to move and to move our body is really good for us then we we can release the stagnant energy so you can try yoga you can try qigong or just just simple dance around the house while while you're cleaning the house so that will help you just to move those energies sometimes we need to shake something off us off us as well maybe there's something uh, something negative maybe there's some negative energy stuck to our aura so while we're moving our body it shakes it off so try that as well and don't forget to play it's time to set aside the work for a while don't worry they the, your spirit guides and angels will oversee your responsibilities to their completion playfulness and playfulness and laughter will lift your energy so that you will return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy sometimes i even do it myself where i work 24 7 and i forget to stop i forget to relax and do something fun when i do something fun i always think about work what i have to do the next day so i feel like you've been like this for a while now and um, angels and spirit guides asks you to chill a little bit play um do something fun go out maybe go out dancing or maybe go to a concert so that will be good for you also i've drawn some um stone cards for you so the stones advise you to connect with compassion and love so if you want to wear an emerald 
this will help you to connect with compassion and love so if you are trying to have this um, conversation with your family members and you are trying to tell them how you feel how you're doing everything in the relationship and they're not participating so if you need help with that so to connect with your heart and speak with compassion and love then you can wear emerald on you a bracelet mirrors or a necklace so that will help you uh, wear bronzite if you need to restore harmony and self-confidence in all you do so if you're trying to uh, master your craft if you have a hobby that you would love to um, make it into your career and if you or if you have a business but you you're still unsure maybe you doubt yourself so bronzite will help you so it looks like this so it'll help you to restore harmony and self-confidence in all that you do and if you need help to achieve your goals and dreams you can wear uh, appetite appetite looks like that so that will help you again to achieving your dreams financial goals and mastering your craft what you need to pay attention to in the next three months is when the last time that you danced freely as i said angels and spirit guides really want you to go dancing your spirit guides say dance because it will shift you into a beautiful state because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart because fear lives in the head along with anxiety control guilt frustration and impatience in just a few minutes of dancing you will make the shift you will feel a change of you will feel a charge of joy and confidence take over and you will feel a soul reminded to live and lead from your heart dancing is a tool to ground us in the now it triggers happiness and it is the gateway to freedom to become free dance you not necessarily have to go out somewhere to to go dancing as spirit guides say you can even dance at home for three minutes to your favorite song notice the inverse fire grow within and the feeling you feel being you you are wild loving force express it with dance today so maybe just turn the radio on and start dancing and see how you feel maybe you'll feel lighter maybe you'll feel more joyful and maybe the situation that you are experiencing at the moment and something that's not what you wanted something that's negative or maybe toxic for you maybe it'll feel a bit lighter maybe you will feel a bit lighter as well so turn on the radio and start dancing also are you willing so it says, this card says, am I willing? You are on the edge of something great. As I said, the energies are there. You are capable of achieving something great, living a luxurious life. Can you feel it? Yes, there is a risk, uncertainty and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage so believe believe that you can achieve it and you can you have the manifesting power and visualize visualize that it is possible for you that you have achieved it be brave follow your heart's compass and feel and lift the lid on your own dreams today's mantra it is possible so trust yourself uh, but ask are you willing to do what it takes are you willing to go out of your comfort zone and take that step create that website email that client that possible client or call them are you willing to do the necess necessary actions that 
will bring you your clients if you are going self-employed uh, are you willing to do what it takes to achieve your dream it is in your cards it is possible for you but just it depends from you what you do every single day to achieve that also what do what do you resist feeling right now so you need to address that as well we have to feel it to heal it in order to let go of pain we first have to honor its existence like i said before there's um, everything happens for a reason and there is a hidden blessings in everything so in order to let go of pain we first have to honor its existence emotions are like waves some of us soft some are fierce some are layered and some will sweep you off your feet feet when we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Allow yourself to feel this wave, let it move through you, no matter how long it lasts. Then release it back into the ocean, feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. So I feel like you have some trapped emotions and you are not letting yourself to feel everything. Maybe you so you're feeling so hurt or maybe you you don't trust yourself or maybe you doubt yourself and you just hide these feelings inside and you pretend that everything's fine everything is okay maybe you made your comfort zone so comfortable that even though you feel those feelings you don't want to move forward so what are you resisting or feeling somehow we love pushing our feelings onto one side and just ignore them if someone hurt us we just pretend that we forgave them and just uh, we move on but actually those feelings get stuck in our body and it affects us and uh, influences our thought process, our emotions and our actions. So um, the, your spirit guides say that you need to release some, um, some feelings, you need to release some stuck emotions to be able to move forward. So have that in mind and let yourself feel the feelings that you are feeling. It's the negative feelings are there to show you that situation that you are in is not is not positive for you it's not for your highest good so it steers you towards the different direction so if you feel negative feelings right now so that shows you that you are not where you meant to be you have to be somewhere else to be somewhere else you have to come out of your comfort zone and do something different but the next three months your affirmation is i plan to always send out love light and positive energy to the greater collective so people that are around you even though they hurt you they said something negative to towards you they they said something that you didn't want to hear or they did something that that caused you some pain so send them love they are there for a reason they sometimes people push our buttons for us to come up to get out of our comfort zone sometimes people hurt us that we could move on move to something different just remember that when you send the loving energy to the universe you will get that loving energy back so that's all i've got for you and if you have a second soul gift make sure you watch that video as well to know what's happening in the next three months to have a full picture and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one